good. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Mmm. So good and tasty. I despise Fallout 4 VR. There is so much history between me and this game. Fallout 4 VR is essentially my ex. Best not let the wife see you. I remember playing it for the first time Christmas Day when I got my Rift S and I was just blown away by how unimmersive it was. Perfect example being how they will just show you your Rift controller in VR. Doesn't even give you the courtesy of a floating hand. Disappointed! And for me, that is a spit in the face. I've never been so dishonored in my entire life. But no worries, the Fallout community is full of brilliant, talented, kind angels who can mod the game into playability, right? Wrong! What the f- The player skeleton in Fallout 4 has scoliosis or something, so unlike Skyrim VR, Fallout 4 VR couldn't have a VR body. Until today. I can't believe it's actually working. After months, FRIK exists. It's been rumored for a while now in hushed whispers of the Fallout VR community. And by hushed whispers, I mean Discord DMs to me every couple weeks. Yes, I'm well aware. But it's here. And now that it's here, I can finally, finally try playing Fallout 4 VR properly. I do not think it is physically possible to get more atmospheric than this. I'm sure about 0.01% of the people here remember this, but when I first started playing Fallout and discovered the giant middle finger that was a floating Rift S controller in the Commonwealth, I took a vow to mod it with as much random garbage as I could possibly find until it became chaotic enough to be fun to play. It was an act of defiance, really, like software graffiti. And to go in the opposite direction now, to mod Fallout 4 to be as realistic and as atmospheric as possible, to give Fallout the love it deserves, to put it mildly, is... <coughs> oh. <laughs> did, what, did I just time that on accident or was that me? Oh my god. I'm just gonna say it was me. It's my video, I can edit this part out. Having a VR body in a game like Fallout 4 VR is everything to me. Because in VR, you don't have third person, and seeing if you look cool is 99% of the fun of looting new clothes and armor. It makes an insane difference. So once I got FRIK working, it really didn't take many other mods to ascend Fallout 4 VR to god tier status. That's definitely a person. Oh yeah, that's a person. Okay, well that was a person. Yeah, using the pit boy like this, seeing the little green glow on my wrist as I'm sheltering from the rain. This is like the post-apocalyptic dream. You know what I mean? This is it. This is, I can just pop a seat here and just wait for the rain to go away. You know? I just, this is so cool. This is so, so cool. Woo, woo. Dog meat, that is, uh, don't move. No, don't. I just added some realistic guns and some better ambiance. And a note on the ambiance, I love the super foggy, ashy, bombed out look that I have going on. But unfortunately, the mod I used for that is that famous mod from the Siren Head video that hit the algorithm a while back. It's called Whispering Hills, and it comes with way more stuff than just the ash falling. Word of warning to anyone who sees this video and downloads that mod, it changes almost all the sound effects and makes it so you get attacked by melted crayon people every 10 minutes. Yeah, see that sound effect is not pleasant. It's just not pleasant. Oh, she came back. And at one point, the sky went black and the earth was shaking and sirens were blaring in the distance, which is alarming when it's happening in VR. Thank God I was at Sanctuary, otherwise I might have soiled myself. Mama Murphy, help. Is anyone going to acknowledge this? Decided to come with us. What? To listen to Mama Murphy all Preston, now is not the time. And then I got raided by a whole bunch of Cran people. So again, 
download this particular mod at your own risk. It's an acquired taste. Oh my God. It is unbelievable the way my fallout was starting to shape up. But the cherry on top of all of this is about halfway into modding the game and building everything out, getting everything to work, my Rift S died. <laughs> After two and a half years of honorable service, the headset that showed me VR for the first time died. And the Rift S is discontinued, so that thing is dead dead. We had a whole memorial service that was live streamed for it, so I won't spend too much time on this. Beautiful ceremony, by the way. Thank you again to the US Air Force for their flyby. But all of a sudden, I had this Fallout 4 halfway modded to perfection and nothing to play it on. And in all seriousness, if it weren't for you smooth brains out there who enjoy my ramblings and watch these videos, if it weren't for especially the channel members and the patrons who give me extra money, I would not have been able to just buy a new headset at the drop of a hat like this. Atomic Mirror Brains specifically, this is your shaming for this video. And ironically, it's not a shaming. This is the one time in six months where I can honestly say, I needed this. Thank you. You are the smooth brain insurance policy that protects this channel. And what I purchased with those hard earned dollars of other people's money was our quest too. I feel so free with this headset on. I could, I could go prone. I could literally get on the floor. I could roll around on the floor. Oh, the guardian doesn't like that. I have my microphone cut on my shirt. Before you lampoon me for not getting an index, I fully explained my rationale on stream this past Thursday. Watch that VOD first, it's not what you think. But playing Fallout 4 VR through the Oculus Air Link feels like wizardry. It is legitimately black magic. It scares me. I see no performance differences. I tested it both wired and not wired, and there's zero difference on my Wi-Fi network. I don't know if it's my business Wi-Fi or what, but the power of my RTX 3070 is being flown through the fucking sky. I am standing so far away from my computer right now, it's insane. This should not be possible. This feels like cheating at life. I have no wires attached to my head, just the Quest 2, which is smaller than the Rift that I'm used to, and a Turtle Beach headset for audio. That's it, my hands are completely free. And you really notice this in firefights, I can turn around completely uninhibited by a cord dangling from my eyes. It feels impossible. It feels like I'm being pranked. I could physically walk up to this bar on my on my two feet and crouch down. That, that's so cool to me. Am, am I the only one who finds this cool? This is my dream Fallout experience. If I had played this back on Christmas day of 2019 before I played any other VR games, I might have gone comatose. It probably would have been too much for my brain to handle and it would have just said good night and I'd hear the Windows XP log off noise and that'd be it for me. But sadly, ever since I played Into the Radius, my tolerance for lazy VR gun design is below ground level. The bar is on the floor at this point and Into the Radius still accomplishes what Fallout 4 does in VR, but better. I still feel that way. But at the same time, Into the Radius is not Fallout. And the fact that I get to finally have an immersive Fallout experience in the Fallout universe in VR is still 9.999 out of 10, even if the guns are magic reload machines. Can I reload this? That's <laughs> so weird. The possibilities seem endless, especially now that I have a Quest 2. I've only begun to look into mods. I wasn't even sure if FRIK was going to work. It's still an alpha. There's probably a whole world of untapped potential out there. I've just scratched the surface with this. Can someone explain to me how this man still has a Boston accent after 200 years? But for now, that's all I got. Once again, thank you to all the smooth brains out there, from Atomic Mirror, to Silk, to Velvet, even Honorary Velvet Brains, your one dollar. Thank you. I didn't expect to have a new headset by the end of this video. I didn't want to. I was waiting to see what headsets get announced at the end of this month. But, uh, here we are. I think he's dead. Like this video if you practice black magic, but love yourself, even if you don't have a magical bone in your body. And I will see you again on stream tonight. It's Saturday, and whatever we're doing, I'll be doing it wirelessly on my new quest. So there you go. Goodbye. Toggle selfie mode. Oh, oh boy. 
Oh, I'm a little too tall. <laughs> Those legs are straight. Let's uh, come down a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm a short little guy, huh? Look at me. Hello. <laughs> I look uh, I look different. That's, uh, oh, my. 